Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. And in this one, we are back with some more exclusive gameplay. If you guys missed our first video where I showed off the Sword and Shield, then both myself and Soxy Bear had a chance to go over to Capcom recently and go hands-on with a portion of Sunbreak. We got to play a multiplayer quest against Luna Garen, and we also got to try a single player quest against Seregios. Of course, I'll be sharing that sort of stuff a little bit later on for you guys to see. But in this video, we'll be focusing on the Longsword. Yes, I know the Longsword did get some pretty meaty buffs this time around. So I want to give you guys a chance to sort of see it in action. Now, it's worth noting, this, of course, is still a work in progress build. Things may still be subject to change. But in this video, I want to give you a chance to sort of see a few of the things we got to test out. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this let me know what you think of the sort of sunbreak footage you've seen so far if you've missed any other videos of course don't forget to check those out on the channel we also have more stuff coming your way keep in mind we can only show you so much there's a limitation on how much we're able to upload so i'm keeping these videos pretty short because i of course want to throw in a few other things and sort of put together a few more videos but anyway let's talk about the longsword so obviously it got some really really tasty buffs in uh sunbreak it got some really really nice new moves the setup we're running with in this one of course has the new special sheath combo and as you can see from that footage the harvest moon ring which when you put down of course your spirit gauge will not decrease and when you perform counters you will also get multiple hits now it is worth noting again when we jumped into this demo, we had very limited time. I tried to go through as many weapons as possible, so I didn't really have too much time to sort of sit down and master everything. So this is not going to be the best gameplay. I do apologize in advance, but it did give us a chance to sort of test out a few things. Honestly, the new sort of a special sheath combo is really cool, or kind of a sacred sheath combo. Interesting sort of thing to note here as well, you'll actually see in the gameplay just then, was, uh, and this was something that wasn't mentioned on the English website, but the Japanese website does mention it, there's actually a counter to that. They actually mentioned originally in the English website, they say if you get hit, then it sort of uh, consumes a, you know, a spirit gauge. And then we just assume that meant that you get knocked out of it. But in actual fact, it means it consumes it and you then get a counter from it. So really, it is just a very potent, not only a badass anime looking move, but it's just a really, really powerful attack. So uh, yeah, it's definitely sort of one of those things that we're still trying to sort of work out the, uh, the best use case for it. Because, of course, Longsword is a pretty... Pretty fast weapon, not necessarily as fast things like sword and shield and stuff, but it is a faster weapon. Meanwhile, that sort of sheath combo does have a slightly longer wind up, so you definitely need to sort of work out the optimal time to use it, the optimal sort of placement. It's not something you will necessarily sneak in just off the fly in like a very small window. So uh, yeah, there's obviously some practice that needs to be had here, trying to sort of work out optimally when it should be used. Also, just shout out to the uh, Shogun Senator Longsword. I love any of the Longswords that look like scythes. Also, as you saw in that gameplay just a moment ago, the uh, interesting thing about Harvest Moon, it also appears to give you super armor whilst you're activating it. You do still take damage, but as you see, Luna Garen was about to hit me, and upon sort of uh, activating Harvest Moon, we didn't get knocked out of it, so it does appear that during the activation animation, you also get super armor. So uh, that's pretty nice, because of course, if you got knocked out of it, and then the ring went to waste, that would uh, be kind of uh, kind of annoying, but also maybe a little bit more balanced. But anyway, this is, uh, yeah, it's definitely a very nice uh, combination. All in all, though, Longsword definitely sort of did feel really, really good. I mean, it's always been quite a nice sort of flowing weapon anyway, and in Rise definitely got some nice new tech. The fact you can, of course, still switch between some of your favorite older moves thanks to the switch skill swap feature means you have plenty of stuff at your disposal, but that is it for the time being. If you guys missed any of our recent videos, be sure to check out one of these ones linked on screen, and keep it locked because we've got more Sunbreak stuff coming your way. 